Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Bee Trapping. Out here, uh, you know, waiting out this coronavirus, off work, so figured I'd come out here in the garage and do uh, some things here on some of the new stuff I made for this upcoming season. And uh, bees were flying good the last couple of days, got up to 55, 60 degrees here in Ohio. So they're really out there getting pollen. And uh, I decided, uh, I believe it was Wooly Bees Apiaries where I first saw this. Um, I did have a couple of small hive beetles, nothing major uh, last year. And in this early spring, I've seen a couple. Um, so in any of my new stuff that I made, some of my nukes and some of my new bottom boards, I kind of stole this idea from him. I made a couple of modifications to it, but it's pretty much all his idea. What I have here is just your normal uh, mason jar lid. And I basically have cut a circular number eight hardware cloth and put on the inside now you can glue that down on the inside if you want to uh, you could put some caulk around it or something but for the most part if you make it nice and tight it'll just kind of stay in there and then what you do is you take a two and three quarter inch uh, hole saw and drill holes in your bottom board so this is a removable bottom board that i have for a nuke right here and then this is just a regular board and then these nukes have the the bottom board uh, just permanently attached to them. So I have a couple of different styles. And uh, I put, you can see, you take and push that uh, lid through. So the threads are obviously sticking down and then you can screw your jar in right here. Uh, I put a little glue around the outside of my lid when I push them in. Some guys will staple them in, nail them in, etc. I just put a little glue in there around the outside and push them in. They usually fit really, really tight, so it's really not that big of a deal. Then you take, and I have taken and uh, put spray paint and just spray painted, you know, old jelly jars that I just have laying around from Canon and stuff like that. And all you do, you screw that on the bottom just like that, and then when you turn your nuke over, obviously it sticks out the bottom just like that. And inside, you can put, inside the jar, you can put mineral oil or an attractant or whatever else you want to use. And the idea is that the bees, you know, they like to chase and corral uh, small height beetles and stuff like that. They'll chase them. They'll go down through that hardware cloth. They'll get down in that jar and uh, they'll drown in that mineral oil or diatomaceous earth or whatever else you want to put in there to kill them. And the reason I'm painting them uh, black is, you know, small hive beetles and stuff like that like dark places. So I figured uh, by painting the jars black, they might be more likely to go down there than if I left them clear and the sun was shining in them. Although I'm sure it probably would work either way. It's just, you know, something extra that I kind of did. Now you will have to, uh, you will have to have a setup where you can, you know, have that jar be able to stick down. So a lot of guys are using cinder blocks and putting, you know, I use landscaping timbers because they're cheaper, but guys will put four by fours and stuff like that up on them. And that jar will hang down right between those. If you put your uh, boxes up on cinder blocks, they can just, uh-oh, uh got a crazy one coming in here. Say hi, Winston. Oh boy. And then there's Dennis. There we go. So uh, you can, that'll hang down between the uh, the cinder blocks or it can hang down in between the wood that you set your uh, frames on. I'll go out into the yard right now and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. Okay, like I said, I came back out here in the yard, kind of show you the setup I'm talking about. So here you see the nuke that I had up inside the garage. And what you can see is cinder block, cinder block. Got a landscaping timber, landscaping timber, especially this time of year. You can find them pretty cheap at Menards and Lowe's and stuff like that because it's, you know, that season where people are going to start using them in their yards. Here you see the nuke. Here you see the nuke up on top. And obviously right there, see the jar? I put that my jar in the middle. I mean, you could put it farther back if you wanted to. I just put it in the middle to make it easier on everybody. And then, you know, your nuke will sit here and you get it filled up with mineral oil, whatever. Let's say you're coming out here in the yard. You want to check everything. All you got to do, unscrew your jar. Look what's in there. Any kind of beetles or whatever, you can dump them out. And then clearly, put your jar Boom, screw it back on. Boom, there's your uh, your beetle trap. 
long as you keep filling it up, you don't have to buy anything special. It's kind of there all the time. I would say eventually though, the rim on the lid, you know, might go bad. You might have to change that out, but that's an easy thing. I mean, and then here you see, uh, I've started to put my bottom boards and stuff just on cement blocks sitting out there. That way we don't have any, you know, a lot of guys put them on pallets or stuff like that. You don't have any stuff rotting and it's the same idea. You know, your hive would sit there and then you come around here to the back there hangs down you know your jar you can check it change it you know unscrew it do all the stuff that we just talked about so uh small hive beetles i'm here in ohio i know the farther up north you go they have less and less of a problem with them but they will find your hives eventually it's kind of like varroa they're, they're going to find your hives eventually so i just take measures right now to prevent it if I can before it's it's a problem. Remember an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So by putting something simple like this and preparing for them, there you go. Kids out here beekeeping. So by preparing for it, you know, you can limit yourself in a lot of problems. So, all right guys, uh, like and subscribe. And like I said, this wasn't my original idea. I just kind of modified it from, uh, I believe it's Wooly Bees Apiaries, the first only place I've ever seen it. Thought it was an ingenious idea. So I've added it to my apiary. So, all right guys. Stay safe. Thanks.